What's up guys, so White Kirby here, and today I'm gonna be doing a quick tutorial on OBS. Recently OBS had a update where they removed the option to have the open GL, and I have no clue what that means, but apparently it messes with your encoder. And yesterday I was having some issues trying to figure that out, and I finally stumbled upon something that works, so I wanted to make this video in case someone else was struggling. Um, if you have an encoder preset that you had that just disappeared or is not being recognized or not working properly It's most likely due to this new update of OpenGL being removed from OBS Which makes no sense because it's an open broadcasting tool So I don't know why they would remove anything that make it even more open But anyway, here's the quick remedy what you do is you go to your properties on your OBS by uh, Right-clicking on OBS you go to the target line and you hit space two hyphens dash dash uh <laughs> Great tutorial. Open GL and allow. No, wait, I did that wrong. Sorry. Dash dash allow one dash open GL. And it might give you an administrative message like that. And so after that, you go into OBS. Oh, I'm in OBS. Well, what you would do is go into OBS, which is open. Uh, you tell I don't. You can tell I don't do tutorials usually. But uh, <laughs> um, after you do that, it should allow you to have all the encoders you had. So let me prove that real fast. I don't know if you can see this. I hopefully you can. But uh, in case you can, I'll move it over here. Open Geo <laughs> it should uh, let you see those encoders again. See, I have it right here because I already did it. Um, and I was doing it for y'all. But usually if it only said X264, it should have your other encoders available now. And I'll just click the media framework I've been using. And there you go. So if you like this tutorial, prove with the like button and subscribe for more. I, I do a lot more content other than this week tutorial. But hopefully it helps you guys. All right, I'm out.